youngins. It sure is sweltering hot over here. I want a dessert, but I don't want to turn on the oven. Luckily, I have me an ambrosia pie. That's right, we're going to make a refreshing no-bake ambrosia pie today on the Baking Chin. <laughs> A show that tries to show that baking is fun, easy, and I think rather appealing. Now today we're going to make an ambrosia pie, and that's a rather nice 60s style recipe I developed. Not that I know anything about the 60s. And uh, it's very lovely to make because it's a no-bake recipe. That means it's a raw recipe, so you don't need any baking, and you don't need to turn on the oven on a very hot day like today. So, let's get started. So to make this recipe, first we'll need 227 grams of cream cheese, that's about one 12 ounce packet, uh, 200 grams of icing sugar, 80 grams of flaked coconut, and I also have a little vanilla powder in there, uh, 40 grams of lemon juice, 250 milliliters of cream, 8 grams of gelatin dissolved in 50 milliliters of boiling water, uh, 100 grams of marshmallows are how many, how much marshmallows you can stand. Uh, 247 grams of mandarin oranges, that's about two uh, cans drained, and one uh, pre-baked pie shell. I already, I made my own, but you can do whatever you like, I just don't live near a supermarket. And here we have uh, the cream cheese and the powdered sugar and the coconut and a little vanilla all. And when we're gonna mix all that together, and we're also gonna add the lemon juice, and we're going to add the gelatine, or gelatin. And we just all mix this together until it's very smooth, like a baby's behind. Not that I'd know anything about baby's behind. And I think that's about very well mixed. As you can see, I halfway through I changed to the uh, the whisk. Now, I'm going to add in the whipped cream, and now this is some I've already whipped up, just to look professional, and uh, now we're going to fold it into our mixture over here. It's kind of, this is actually kind of like a mousse, I would say, but not quite as light, but I think still very satisfying. This is, actually, this is basically a stabilized ambrosia salad in a pie crust. I think it's a very nice way of presenting an ambrosia salad. And we'll just fold all that together. Just until it's mixed. And you want to fold it because you don't want too much of the air to uh, get out. You want this to be... The, cr the whipped cream just... Um, lightens up the cream cheese very much. I think that's very, that's just about good. So we'll add in the marshmallows. That was very dainty. And uh, mix those in. And also we're going to mix in the mandarin oranges. Just, oh, plop it in there. And mix around and just fold it just until everything is mixed together and I think that looks very good so now just put it in the pie shell as I said you don't have to make your own pie shell as I did oh and if a little goes over the side this is not a problem just rescue it it's and now just put this in the refrigerator for, I'd say, about five hours or so, or even overnight, just until the gelatin is set and everything's nicely done. And luckily, I already have one prepared ahead of time. And this one has been 
overnight, and now I shall show you how to decorate it. And now to decorate the pie, I have a little bit more whipped cream. I've added a little sugar to this. Um, some pineapple slices, very retro. Some maraschino cherries. Some ground up almonds. And a little more coconut. And I'll show you how I would decorate it. Take the whipped cream and just spread that all on top. I know some people will say, Ian, ambrosia salad has maraschino cherries and pineapple and the like, and that's that's why I have put it on top as a garnish. That way if you don't like pineapple very much, you can just put it to the side. And I think that's enough, and I'll put some pineapple on. I'm going to put some maraschino cherries in each loop. If you wanted, you could put some more mandarin oranges around, but that way people will know there are mandarin oranges. They're in mandarin orange territory when they're making, eating this. I think I'll just put a little more cherries just around. Ah, parfait. And here's the finished ambrosia pie, nicely decorated, and uh, I think it looks very pretty. Something like out of a Betty Crocker cookbook, or perhaps a, the Canadian Purity Flower cookbook, if you know that one. It's very good. And I think I shall try a piece, and I'll try to cut this so I get a little bit of pineapple, and it's awfully good. It's like a, it's like everything you'd want in an ambrosia salad but in a lovely buttery pastry crust. Mm. Mm. And it was very easy to make. I think I'll have a bit of a, I'll have a cherry too. I just popped a cherry. And that's ambrosia pie. And as you can see, it's very attractive and I also think it's quite refreshing and very easy to make. You didn't need to even turn on the oven or nothing. So thank you very much for joining me today on The Baking Chin. My name is Ian Chin and as always, I wish you Happy baking! Death thank heaven For little girls For little girls get bigger every day Thank heaven For little girls They grow up in the most delightful way Those little eyes so helpless and appealing One day will Molly's hiding under the chair because she doesn't want to see Job.